when a druid has a understanding of Nuefre in their body and an understanding of Nuefre around them in the earth's body and that energy exchange between the two, that means that there is more opportunity for magical connection and the ability to move that energy around. Saplings, my name is Danny, and welcome to Esoteric Moment. Today's video is about Nuefre. I'm going to pray that I'm saying that word correctly, but Welsh is not my strong suit. So if I'm saying it incorrectly, forgive me and put your corrections in the comments below. But beyond saying this word, Nuefre is a concept that is common to many different Druid practices. I want to do this video to kind of talk about Nuefre, how it's used in Druidry, and as a primer to a series of videos that I'm really looking forward to doing all about magic in Druidry. While there are many different types of people that practice Druidry, one thing that is common is the understanding that developing communication and the correct energy flow in your body is a very useful one. This does not mean that every druid is able-bodied or never gets sick or is a vegan or, or any specific health requirements. It does mean that druids develop the sense of understanding what their body needs or is communicating at a given time. It is an understanding of the energy flow throughout your body. You'll hear other practices talk about chakras and energy centers, and that can be tied into the concept of Nuefre as well. Generally, it's the sense of energy and well-being in your own body, that vitality in your body. Tapping into your awareness of Nuefre can be done in a few different ways. One of the easiest ways is to focus on your breath and to establish that still center feeling in your body that allows you to kind of check in with each area. Doing a chakra meditation where you start at your root and go up to your crown chakra and you spend time focusing on the light and feeling of those energy centers can be a useful way to begin that conversation of Nuefre in your body. Another way of working on Nuefre and understanding that concept is of course doing a breath movement practice. Tai Chi, martial arts, and my favorite, yoga. I use yoga as a part of my daily practice and it's really what taps me into the needs of my body and the power of my body. It's easy for us to forget what we're really capable of. The strength, endurance, flexibility does not have to be limited by the things we do on a regular basis. There's more to all of us. When you begin to develop practices where you're regularly attempting to observe and maybe interact with Nuefre, it allows you to better understand the energy flows going on on a macro scale as well. Obviously, the things in your body and the foundation that that gives you allows you to better appreciate the politics and energy dynamics going on in your city council. It allows you to better understand the implications of climate change from our large, big decisions like fracking and pollution on our micro home scale, what our soil is like and the air we breathe. Nuefre is just another concept and piece of language that allows druids and pagans to really talk about the exchange of energy and what we ourselves are a part of in that net and connection of energy. I think it's really easy for us to focus just on the big things and to jump into using magic and changing our world around us without understanding just the simple energy exchange and flows that happen within and what we need to do on the smallest, most intimate scales. In the comments below, please share with me how you tap into Nuefre and how you understand the concept. Let's get a conversation started. I'm very curious. Today's sapling shout out goes out to Living Tree, another druid who is posting some great videos lately about their druidry and practices. So definitely check them out in the comments and their own channel. If you would like to be next video's sapling shout out, don't forget to leave a comment or talk to me on Instagram. Thanks for watching and as always, may you find peace in the sacred grove. Oh.